to baseball break your heart this is i guess this was rained out i think it's just baseball break your heart for the interim yeah <laughs> now that we're now so, that we're season two yeah now the, that we're done with the mariners the interregnum period yes. <laughs> yeah <laughs> there's the i don't know there was like a portion of like my taxes on uh turbo tax where you have to like interstate taxes and it was for missouri and it was like you know, there's a button down at the bottom. It was like bottom and it said done with Missouri. It was like, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> done with the Mariners. Yes. Ah, it was a good experience. I think I just needed some time to like recoup from just following, just living, breathing, you know, eating, sleeping, shitting baseball for, <laughs> you know, like uh-huh. I realized, I realized that the postseason is still going on, but like, man, that Mariners season really took it out of me. And then I tried to talk to like, <laughs> I try to talk to other Mariners fans about it and they get really upset that I got on their bandwagon and like, I'm just kind of happy the season's over. They're like, you don't know our pain. You don't know what we've been through. Every single fucking one of them, the whole season, man, just the most navel-gazing fan base I've ever had. I do. (laughs) I do think that uh, their season, the pain that, that their season uh, has caused is not come to a close because their division rivals the rangers are in the world series and also who was the player which was the mariners player that was like made a specific statement to the media saying yeah it stings that they took our spot by spending money and our team doesn't spend money oh i didn't pick that up but uh yeah yeah. i missed that one too um it it's sort of like yeah you're right You're right. I mean, uh, the... it's it's been so long that we haven't even had a chance to talk about uh, what did the what's the owner's name again? The Mariners owner. He gave like that press conference and he's like, look, we've statistically calculated that we want to win 54 percent of games and we're <laughs> on pace. And it was like the most it was like the most like fucking like McKinsey brained bullshit. But then someone on Twitter like did the math and they were like, actually, if you were trying to hit this target, you would need to win uh, at like a 102 game pace for the next two seasons. So where's it at? Like, OK, <laughs> right. then deliver it <laughs> where, where, you know, you're 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 behind schedule here if that's your goal. So I don't know the mariners ownership i mean like you know with the with free agency coming up you know for so many big names um you know everybody's like i I don't know i mean mariners fans are really up on some hopium because they all think that they're gonna get otani they all think they're gonna deal for soto they all you know like and it's just kind of like yeah, I mean, dream big, dreamer, but like, look, I don't, I mean, look, like, look at, look at what the, but I mean, also at the same time, like, no, it's just not going to happen. But like, what has Zotani done for the Angels, and what has Soto done for the Padres? I mean, like, right, having yeah. having good players on a baseball team. If there's anything the past few seasons have taught me, having great, legendary, once in a generation players on your team doesn't mean shit in baseball. You know, like you can draft LeBron James, 18 years old out of high school, and he's going to like, you know, charge your team all the way to the uh, to the NBA finals. But if there's one thing I learned, it just doesn't work that way in baseball. Angels had two of them. I know. (laughs) I know. I know. And then you get them off of the Angels team and make them face each other. And it was the best moment of the entire. Yeah, no kidding. Decade. (laughs) Or that's uh, the highlight. That's the highlight of the baseball year for sure. Hi- highlight of the twenty first. Well, let's century. wait until the <laughs> let's wait until the World Series. But I mean, nothing. It'd be it'd be really hard to top that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Stanton, owner. I don't know. Like, I it wasn't coming to me either. I had to look it up, which is kind of sad after following every maybe single the, game for maybe a whole season. The, maybe it was the the pobo the president of baseball operations uh, i don't know uh, i don't remember who it was but they, they there was like a video and it was a press conference and it was very like mckinsey brained like well we just want to win 54 percent of the games and then like you're actually if you if if 
if I take at face value what you're saying, then you uh, would need to win like 108 games for the next two seasons. So let's see. And I don't know. I mean, like, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that it's impossible that they trade for real talent like Otani, especially since Otani's only going to be a hitter. He's going to be a world class hitter, but he's not going to be Otani because he can't pitch for at least I, a season. I think if there is one free agent out there that Seattle needs to pick up, it's Miss Kim Ng. The uh, former GM of the Marlins that yeah, uh, actually just quit after they tried to like that's really smart because <laughs> but I mean she but she put together a playoff team in two seasons in so, Miami yeah, great yeah. yeah no I know in Miami like and and there's all kinds of <laughs> with wild Miami shit money going on with yeah with with yeah and all of the 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 various powders you can find on it yeah yeah uh, and and all four thousand of their redditors. Uh, no, I mean, like, okay, I guess we're still talking about the Mariners. So, like, this, I, I feel <laughs> we don't, like we don't have to. We don't. No, have to. I but don't I really mean, care. like, like she has proven, she has proven that she can put together a winning team, and yeah. you know, like, put her with an organization that already kind of has a winning team in place, maybe has a little bit more money to spend. Uh, you know, is is. A open region. up the open up the purse strings. If if you yeah. hire her, you need to also open up the purse strings and, For sure. and get some free agents. Like period, get some. Uh, I mean, get some fucking hitters who can not strike out so much. Like right. Well, yeah, that was god damn. I mean, the, just the, thinking about that just makes me so. You don't. Mad. They don't even need. They don't even. It's like you're saying they don't even need to be like all stars. They just need to be like the right guy for the job. I mean, like like the Rangers, uh, who look pretty good headed into the World Series, like. As far as I could tell, Adolis Garcia is like the heart of that team, and then most of it is just like uh, indistinguishable, uh, like white guys. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. That's like, that's most of the team, and a lot you could put that together in in Seattle. It wouldn't be that hard. Like absolutely. Just and I mean, add, I think add some key pieces where you need to. I don't know. I, I think she would absolutely flourish there. Uh, yeah. I think I think if I think if Seattle wants to take uh, winning a World Series like seriously. I think they should pick her up. Yeah, I think that's anyway. a good, good call. That's that's no, those are my season-ending notes for the Mariners. <laughs> Sorry about the whole navel gazing thing, Mariners fans that don't listen to this show. <laughs> <laughs> a lot, a lot of gatekeeping in that community. If you promise, if you promise to listen to the show, we'll be nicer. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. No, we well, we probably can't keep oh, that promise. Just, just we're, I mean, we're moving like, on anyway. <laughs> eh, yeah. Actually, you know, that that brings up something. Um, you know, there's a we need to choose a bandwagon today for this uh I'm gonna, I'm going to put y'all in suspense. We're, we're doing a bandwagon. Um <laughs> Okay. So um uh what is the name of it? Yes, the Dubai League. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Yes, 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 no. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> this is going to be I a was disaster. Bring that up. Baseball it? United. Um who is it? Barry Larkin and uh who else was it that just, you know, decided that they were going to start a uh Middle East. Wait, 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 wait. Bartolo league. Colon? Yes. This Bartolo. is where we are going with this, Dan. Fucking, they drafted Bartolo Colon, Robinson Cano, and the panda bear, Pablo Sandoval. <laughs> yeah. They're getting all the over 40s. Big Sando. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why uh, the, the images aren't loading, but oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we have the Mumbai Cobras. Um, Badass logo, great name. Uh, Mumbai is just the most insane city I've ever been into my life. I I've never seen like you know I've been to some impoverished places, but like I've never seen poverty that I would describe as crushing. And it's it just wow. Like Mumbai is is a whole beast. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but that was that was wild. So yeah, the Mumbai Cobras, Bollywood. What else we got going on there? Anyway. Uh, let's see who else we got. Wow. So this is like a proper international coup. What is it? Kuwaiti? Uh-huh. 
uh, or Dubai, Dubai, uh, or the United Arab Emirates. So we have the Karachi monarchs of Pakistan. Oh, Karachi. Oh, Karachi. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. So I'm excited about this because there are no two states that hate each other more than India and Pakistan. And, you right. know, they have a, they have, I mean, obviously a bitter political rivalry, which has spilled over into sports. And I mean, like, you know, cricket match i would contest that it was a bitter sports rivalry that spilled over into politics <laughs> it, it probably started that way <laughs> but you know their uh their cricket rivalry is is pretty epic um so yeah it's it's pretty wild yeah and then uh let's see who else we got here the uh the i think it's the dubai wolves yeah so it must be it must be like a, it's one of those deals where like they just do like a tournament style over the course of like a month in in one place. There's there's no way that they're traveling all over. Right. Uh, <laughs> all I these mean, places it's, to play like home these games. places are not as far apart. These places are not as far apart as 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 they may seem uh you know because yeah but where's like, where's the where's the money in all the international flights that they're taking yeah. <laughs> i mean uh, I, you know, you, I don't know probably I, probably I'm not, I'm not air ju- is uh you know is uh, i'm no slouch at geography like but you're probably <laughs> and, right and then we got we got the abu right. dhabi we got the abu dhabi Fal- falcons or is it the dubai falcons i can't remember but i mean i know that i know Fresh that it takes threads. a while to get from uh mumbai to abu dhabi i'm pretty sure that takes you know at yeah, least probably no longer than new york to la yeah but that's a long flight and that's expensive yeah, well, uh, you know, I mean, uh, there's there's like Middle East oil money. No, being yeah, paid. that's what I'm getting. At. That's no. what I was getting at. Is is it just <laughs> shake money? Because like, if so, that's that's cool, man. I guess like, I mean, but like they they're they're there it's Here fun to watch how they're shitting up golf. I mean, like, I, I'll give this a shot. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> well, I mean, like there there should be you know it it, it reminds me of Spalding's like baseball tour in the late 1800s trying to like show the world baseball and um you know they played in they played in sri lanka and they played in egypt and you know like these places that where cricket had been like the game for a long time and uh i don't know i mean maybe it's a bit of a spectacle maybe people actually show up and watch it maybe it could be a thing but uh i think i'm in on the cobras you're a mumbai guy I mean, yeah, I mean, traveling through India by myself at like 24 years old was not my favorite experience, but uh, yeah, I think I think I like the Cobras. I was going to go for the Monarchs, so we are now bitter, bitter enemies. That's fine. Yeah, I was also, <laughs> also going to go for the Monarchs. Is that, okay. so is that tiebreak or are we individual bandwagons? Oh, I don't know. Uh you know what? I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stick with the Cobras. You guys go with Monarchs. I'm fucking. All right, care. me and uh, Justin and I are all in on Karachi. Oh, you know, man. we need. We need to make this a fight. I mean, look. So. Uh, it's. It's. That's. It's Royals Monarchs. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You I know, mean, it's a, I was. It's an easy. It's an easy. You got a big K there. I was. I was. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no kidding. I mean, I'm still going with the Cobras. Still going with the Cobras. Fair enough. Personal reasons. Speaking of ghost snakes tonight, like I'm actually really excited about this. I feel oh, like this absolutely. could go either way. Um, yeah, they um I and like last I night just could go s- either way, and it was a fucking and I just want to say awesome. when this round when this round started, when the 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 whatever you want to call this, it, it's not semifinals, they don't call it that the conference championship round series. Champi- championship series round, <laughs> which no one understands. <laughs> right. When this round started, I was like, okay, this might be kind of dull. Like mo- like a lot of it had been sweeps uh, prior yeah. to that. And so I kind of was just bracing for like, kind of like, all right, uh, Phillies, Astros again, whatever. Let's just yeah. do it. Rip the, rip the Band-Aid. But then there was a, a – Friday in particular was a wild set of games. I didn't get to watch them live, but I caught up on them uh, uh, subsequently. And Was that game five? Wow uh it was in game five yeah it was which one was it because game five game five of the texas series um you know i mean it was when houston went up uh over a a three two on friday and then and then the uh arizona tied it two two so yeah game five and game four okay yeah so game five is the one where uh uh garcia got hit by the pitch 
and then like benches cleared. And, yeah, yeah. Um, which there was I mean, some like, conspiracy theorizing about like who was someone trying to ri- like rile the the Astros up? Maybe like that's possible. I don't know. I ah, uh, it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Uh, that um who's that abreu the pitcher or can't remember yeah, his name i Shit. think it was yeah. Abreu, yeah yeah so anyways makes absolutely no sense that he is certain that he is getting suspended for because like are you kidding me like intentionally intentionally throwing at a batter in a close game in the late innings of the championship series yeah I, I don't buy it. I think I think Dusty had every right to be as fired up as he was, which was amazing to see because you were worried the whole time he was going to have a heart attack. Um. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I I don't think it was on purpose. I think it got away from him. I think it got uh, away I mean, from him. The way, the, way, the way Maldonado reacted, but then, I, then again, like he's – Maldonado's a, a pro, so like he probably is fully capable of putting on an act if he if he put it, it might have been him that put on the call to plunk him, you yeah, know. Man. Like I, for for all I know, you know. Like and then he I just, mean, yeah, maybe there was just like some some, but I don't uh, think so. It field, doesn't seem right. Maybe there was some off field beef with those guys. Well, but, those uh, like, both of those rosters like hate hate each other. Yeah, well, <laughs> and I mean, that's... you could tell like there was a lot of bad blood. Yeah, I know, and it's great because like. Garcia going going back to Houston and then they're just mercilessly booing him all yeah. night long and then hits a fucking grand slam in the ninth inning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, like that was and and then he go, and then like game 7, you know, when it's time to decide, you know, like he goes 3 for 3 with two home runs, hits like I think he hit like five home runs in in three or four games. Just I mean, damn. I mean, he he put on a show, and yeah. I like Christy wanted the Astros to win because we've been living here in San Antonio long enough, and she wants to fit in. Um, but like it, uh, it was crazy. It was, I, I mean, like, like it's good that Texas won. It's good for baseball that Texas won because the Houston and Rangers rivalry is going to be insane forever now. Yeah. Um, yeah, because like if the Rangers had lost the bandwagon would have just everybody would have bailed you know and it would have been like business as usual like houston beats up on the rangers and that's that but now that the rangers have knocked out houston and the alcs uh that that's just cemented their intense rivalry forever which is great so that's some texas sized insight right there paul <laughs> <laughs> thank you you're welcome what's everybody drinking Paloma. Nice. Nice. Delicious. Got a burning chair old fashioned. Oh man. That is some that is some good bourbon. hmm Yeah. What was I making with those? Sours. Whiskey sours with the burning chair. Amazing. Uh it's uh it it's I'm leaning all the way into spooky season, so I'm drinking absinthe. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, nice. I can't keep I can't stop myself from like adding Halloween decorations to my house. Like it just <laughs> it's great. <laughs> I'm having a blast. Um I'm like I'm Get full the... on I'm full on suburban like Halloween dad. <laughs> yes. It's great. Uh, you got then, the uh, St. George or what? Oh, uh yeah, St. George, yep. Knew it. Yeah, just sugar and water. Sorry, Dan, what's up? Oh, I was just gonna go back to baseball, but it's not. Let's that go back to baseball. <laughs> uh, so the then there there was the the Diamondbacks, and and again it was back and forth, and it was late inning uh uh scoring like close game, and uh, the other thing too is like everyone thought uh, uh what Corbin Carroll would be the the hero, and he kind of like hasn't really hit yet i don't know like he's not really performing and it's kind of just like this mishmash but it always gets him across somehow like i i like that it's very um exciting um especially as like a a late bandwagon join like oh yeah hell yeah somehow these guys win even though they're clearly inferior i I don't know man they're kind of a giant killer uh you know because yeah 
I mean, four, no, consecutive, and it's... four consecutive home runs against the Dodgers uh, yeah. in the division series. They've got, they've got, they've got a really strong bullpen. I was really, I was, I felt bad for Zach Gallon because I like him and he just kept getting blown up. Yeah. And you, and you really thought that the Phillies were just looking unbeatable, but. Well, the Phillies uh, are really good, man. Yeah. I mean, like really, really yeah. good, like, and they are playing between, really like, well. Between Schwarber and Harper, like that, what was that? Like fifteen home runs, and the series isn't even over yet. It's like, bananas. what the fuck, man? Like, like, it's absolutely insane. They, I think they playing, I think Schwarber has the most so postseason well. home runs now. Uh, I don't know. I, maybe definitely for a lefty, at least. Like, yes, yes, for a lefty, he has the most postseason home runs. The most postseason home runs uh, belong to Manny Ramirez. I think it's twenty eight. And Altuve, yeah. Altuve got Ooh. to 26 this postseason. Ooh, I'm he glad played, he didn't get a chance to get closer. But he has he's played, played almost a full season games. of postseason games. Like, yes. that's insane to me. Bananas. <laughs> that's he's insane of, to me. He's one of five players to have played 100 I don't games. Really, I don't really like wow. him, but I got to respect how much he's that's, appeared in the postseason. That's the deal with this postseason is that it just really cemented, like, Okay, if you hate the Astros, you still have to. There's some things you got. You, there's some things you got to accept. And going to the ALCS seven times in a row uh, is is insane. Uh, the yeah. Yankees at the, the Yankees did it five. You know, like the 1950s Mickey Mantle, like fucking mega Yankees, only <laughs> went five times. Only, yeah. yeah. You know, like, I mean, seven times in a row, that's insane. Seven times, two rings, say what you will about the team. You know, like they got, they got caught cheating in the dumbest way possible. Do it like (laughs) just the banging on a trash can. Come on. But it's the most baseball thing too. It is. It is. And we all know that guys. Yeah. Just, I mean, well, (laughs) surely they'll never figure this out while he's like (laughs) loudly banging on a trash can. Surely they won't notice this. Um, it's funny because like i feel like that that like the even the fact that they never really saw any serious punishment for it i think is directly the cause of why they have an anti-home field advantage like i feel like it's it's (laughs) this it psychologically haunts them that they did this like goofus (laughs) fucking idiot cheating scandal like and then never really and kind of got away with it and so yeah, now it's like it's really their it's their beating it. it's their beating heart uh but it's a trash can and it's under the, <laughs> it's under the it's under the clubhouse <laughs> yeah I can tell tale trash can yeah there's, like because they, they fucking suck at home like they suck at home they do they have and, lost and, and it's, they have lost tell tale trash can five yeah. consecutive uh playoff games at home that's a record yeah it's um, their it's their guilty conscience. I mean, every every team was stealing signs. They've been doing it for no. I know. I'm just but yeah, but I mean like but, I'm cracking but, wise, Paul. No, absolutely, and, and you ought to because it was the dumbest fucking way to cheat. I really mean, everybody cool. else was cheating, but they weren't banging on a trash can <laughs> louder than hell. Uh, <laughs> anyway, anyway, like the Astros, the Astro. I mean, what a run! What an insane run! Um. Is it over? I don't know. They're a good organization. It's it's hard to say, but I think Dusty is done. Um, Probably, and the, although and that's the fucking not official. Bruce Bochy, like last night when he pulled Aovaldi, which crazy stat, Jordan Alvarez hit 750 against Aovaldi. Then that, that's Ooh. insane. And then uh, <laughs> and then when Bruce when Bruce Bochy pulls Max Scherzer because he was because it's he's terrible in the postseason he pulls the he pulls the bum gardener card again and puts montgomery in and as a reliever just seen it before yep <laughs> <laughs> that old chestnut yes yep never forget I mean, so uh we got a message from joe let's watch this message from joe oh, okay <laughs> So here we go. <laughs> All right, I gotta send this video in solidarity with the snakes. Los serpientos or serpientes, I don't fucking know. Um, but yeah, uh, Arizona, very cool. Uh, as long as a Texas team doesn't win, I'm I'm in, baby. Um, I I will say. Phillies. Check your blind spot. 
have a special place in my heart because I think they have the best name in baseball. I love the logic of just making a cute version of your city and tacking it on to like after the city. Philadelphia Phillies. That's that's fun. That's a lot of fun. Um, my girlfriend who uh, knows zero, nothing about baseball. Zero, nothing. Uh, I told her that that was uh, <laughs> Philadelphia's name was the Phillies and she like couldn't talk for like five minutes because she was just laughing and then I, I hit her with the one-two punch because I pulled up a picture of the uh, of uh, the Philly fanatic and we fucking love that guy <laughs> then you go down a whole Philadelphia rabbit hole with uh, gritty and uh, I don't know um, I don't know. Eagles isn't he a isn't he a boring, Phil? But Philly? Yeah, gritty. <laughs> um, and the fanatic and the Phillies, good stuff. Fanatic. It's kind of a plot uh, that being said, I'm, I'm I'm down right. with the snakes fanatic. because I oh, think okay. it is very important in 2023 to normalize having a swimming pool <laughs> yeah, in your stadium. <laughs> so I'm all, I'm all fucking in, man. I'm all in <laughs> on. Uh, on the snakes. Pool and, party. Uh, yeah, fuck Texas. You know? Uh, but yeah, this one's for this, you know, we're, we're going to see the snakes go all the way, I think. I can't remember, <laughs> I can't remember if we, uh, we had where Arizona ranked in our uh, bandwagon campaign. But I believe it Did was not finish. fairly high. <laughs> I think definitely the highest in the, uh, you know, how you say, playoff run. No, it was discarded. I don't know. I don't really know. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, Arizona didn't make a and shit. Be careful, um, Joe. But yeah, that's all. That's it. Um, hope the recording is going well. God, this guy needs to... Bikes. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> guy going, like, two miles per hour right in front of a semi-truck. Eat fucking shit. Uh, all right, bye. <laughs> Drive safe, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Okay. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, Joe brings up some good points there. I mean, uh, you know, the Phillies, they got the Fanatic. They got the Fanatic, and, you know, I mean, maybe the Royals will change their name to the Kansas City Cannies or... Ugh, I hate. I don't like that. <laughs> the Seattle CDs. Ugh. <laughs> I mean, the Los Angeles Angels is basically the same thing. It's just the other way around. True. The the Angels Angels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> um. Yeah. Swimming pool in the outfield. I feel it. And <laughs> you know our 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 bandwagon matchup. Uh, for both of these, I mean, th this was a bandwagon matchup, you know, the yep. Rangers, Rangers versus snakes. Well, so... presuming the snakes make it, they're still, yeah, game seven. I mean, but I feel like they could do it. And, and, and I think they I can, wanted, something I wanted to say earlier was like, it's not like Philadelphia just had like three off games. It's not like they just had like three games where like they didn't string it together. They had three games where they got beat by a really good baseball team. Yep. Um, it just, you know, they're, they're young, they're fast. Uh, they're, they're good in the ways that the Phillies aren't. I think it's, I think it's a really good matchup because they don't have that, that, that same like overwhelming power uh, that the mm -hmm. Phillies have. Um, but, uh, and, and they've got a strong bullpen and, you know, that's, that's a winning strategy for a small market team as we've all seen. Um, yeah. Go snakes, get in the pool. Go snakes. <laughs> pool party will change uh, your life. Uh, in non baseball items, anybody watching the uh the the Frasier reboot? Man, I forgot. <laughs> I did just tell me about it. I oh, mean, God. it's it's awful. It's really bad. Okay. Uh, don't tell it. Uh it's yeah, I mean most here. most like you know, three camera laugh track like sitcoms are terrible. But this one is like especially bad. It just feels all of those like rebooted shows, like the Roseanne reboot, 
which became the Connors or whatever. Every time they bring back these old shows, like it's they just do not have it, and it's so obvious in the first I mean, episode. Kelsey Grammer's involved, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But okay. there's no Niles, like right off, right off the bat. Well, like, that's that's his foil immediately. Yeah. Niles was the only right. thing that made it work. Right. So instead, he has Niles's kid, his uh, nephew, uh, around who's like supposed to be like a young Niles, and then he moves to uh, uh, Boston to live with his son. So where he's like the that lives moves in with the son but it's that it just doesn't work like i i was like okay i get what they're trying to do but like you know you gotta have like you know jokes in there. <laughs> <laughs> like there's i'm supposed to be laughing here you know right. like what what are we doing uh it's just really terrible uh shot it, a comedy and i forgot to write the jokes yeah yeah i don't know i i don't know if Kelsey Grammer was ever funny. Like, I think I thought he was funny when I was younger and watching that show. But I even then, I don't think I think everyone else in that show was funny. But I don't he think was, he was funny. He's not he funny. Was, he can't I, carry the show. He's not funny. Yeah, I mean, like he was. His character was funny in Cheers because he didn't belong there. Like, yeah, and he the, was surrounded the, by funny intellectual. People. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. Highly right, intellectual exactly. guy. At this kind of like dumpy bar in Boston, you know, hanging yeah. out with the mailman and, yeah. you know, like, you know, I mean, that it was funny to have him here there because that, you know, you know, he didn't belong. Yeah. He but, just, it doesn't belong on television. He's, it's bad. It's really bad. I, I, I watched the first episode. I was going to watch the second and I think a third has aired now. I'm not sure just so I could have more ammunition to shit on it. But like, I don't need, I don't need it. It's <laughs> doing it itself. I, yeah, I think it's I, awful. I think I need to rewatch the down periscope and see if Kelsey Grammer is funny in that movie. I'm trying to think of like other, like, like comedic, like comedic roles that he's been in, but. Uh, when he played uh beast in the, the <laughs> X-Men movie. <laughs> what about that one? Oh, uh, actually, wow. the funniest thing that he's also he's done... like a he's like a huge like like r- r- right wing freak too. Like yeah, uh, oh, his yeah. politics suck shit. I'm not surprised. Uh, the funniest thing that he ever did uh, was he was like introing something at Disney World and he fell through the stage. <laughs> um, <laughs> let me let me see if I can pull that up before. Here we go. Perfect. Let me see if I can pull this up before we run out of time. I just wanted to make sure that I got recognition for doing the extra homework of watching an awful television show before yeah. we're no longer a Seattle related. I was, was going to say, <laughs> your last chance. Thank you, thank you, Dan, for taking the initiative on that one. But, um, but so now we can we can enter into the interregnum period, and uh, I wouldn't have left any content behind. <laughs> <laughs> can sleep at night. Okay, here's a. Uh, Kelsey Grammer, Kelsey Grammer's Frasier falls off stage. Or let's go. Who does it? Frasier's Kelsey Grammer falls off. Drift trip through it's a small world, pretending I was a UN interpreter. Good I I think I'm. Wow, that was really really bad. Okay, terrible. Oh video man. The best like, part happens off screen, obviously. Absolute yeah. potato quality, but you gotta, gonna say, like you gotta love. There. Oh, good lord! <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, that's a classic. That's almost as yeah. good as Grapes Lady. <laughs> as long as we're talking about classic, embarrassing videos. Yeah, we love we love Grapes Lady. <laughs> <laughs> I can't not laugh when I think of her going. Oh, yeah, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! So yeah, I was not excited about this uh, this championship series. Haven't really been excited about the playoffs at all. Tell you what, if the snakes but... if the snakes win tonight, 
All of a sudden, I'm excited in the World Series. Hey, I mean that's yeah. that's our even that's if they our, don't that's our bandwagon matchup. It was it even was Rangers versus Diamondbacks, and we went even, with the Diamondbacks. So even if it's Phils, like I think I think I'm still excited because at least it's not fucking Houston. Yeah, I mean, and maybe Phillies... the Phillies will win. Like that'll be a fun redemption story too. Like I kind of in like on a like I it's a win win for me, but I I am rooting for the Snakes. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, I mean whoever wins tonight, that's that's who I'm rooting for, but. Phillies versus Rangers would be just an absolute slugfest. I mean, I think just, it'd be fun to watch. I yeah, think it'd be I fun mean, to watch. it would be it would be fireworks. Um, Diamondbacks versus Rangers would be a lot of really good baseball. Uh, if if the Diamondbacks, you know, play like they they handle the Rangers like they've been handling the Phillies. Yeah. Um, I really think tonight could go either way, or yeah. it could be another really disappointing Game Seven like last night. And they get blown out. So yeah, I boy, I really don't want that. But hey, then I can shut it off and do something else. That's that is correct. That is that's correct. what I did last night. I mean, even though even though it was the Astros losing, it, it sucks to see a blowout in Game Seven because you get all hyped up for it. And like Game yeah. Seven is, is all about the story, man. Like I I think like it was it's... the first it was the first time a Game Seven had happened in the championship series round in a few years, I think. It's been a while. Yeah, I think it was like 2016 And so people or were pretty pretty excited and then that was not what everyone was excited for. Yeah, that was right. just that was just big farts. It was it was it was But at least at least it's not Houston, man. I don't know. Like it's yeah. not even at this point I don't even like go asteroids. Like I don't it's just I'm sick of it. Like take yeah. a fucking break, man. Yeah. Take a yeah. break. Uh, they they yeah. it's it's really like New England Patriots kind of fatigue, Yeah. Right? Yeah, now, yeah, 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 yeah. Astros. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like okay, like but I mean, now that I'm just surrounded by ass, or I, you know, that was the break. big betrayal moment for yeah. me from the uh, from the Mariner season was like just failing to put the a- Astros to bed when you definitely could have and really should have. They had like, it all right here. It was right there. It, all they, they had, they all really... they had to do, all they had to do was play 500 baseball through the month yeah, of September, all, and it was it was to... all right there. Just one game, just yeah. one game. I mean, and, and they, they could have washed out in the wild card round. It wouldn't have, like, or had a buy. I think if I, you know, I don't know. Anyway, that what a bummer. What a bummer. Yeah, but yeah, fuck it. Oh well, at least astro, at least the uh, asteroids uh, yeah. are are no more, and we can see what they do uh, next season. And then yeah, maybe we'll, I can, we'll see what this Texas Houston rivalry yeah, we'll looks negotiate. like next season. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, all right. Well. Uh, fuck you, monarchs. Go Cobras. And. Uh, hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, that was baseball will break your heart. Thanks for listening. We're almost done with enemies of all mankind. It's uh like almost really gonna be done at some point. Anyways, uh go snakes. Go snakes. Go snakes. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go.